guys how's it going hope you guys are all safe doing well hope you guys have been able to combat this COVID-19 so having said that let's quickly dive on to today's topic as you might have seen in uh, the title and the description line everywhere that like today I will be reviewing some Colourpop foundations yes the latest launch of Colourpop which is their hydrating foundation it has hyaluronic acid yes baby give it to me I need all of that hyaluronic acid for my skin because I am from the dry skin family that is my way without much further of a blabbering and making this intro a little too long which i will have difficulty in editing later let's quickly dive on to it colourpop have uh, sent me uh, these cute mini hyaluronic acid foundation for me to try on to my skin and to see which is my perfect shade let me tell you something about the product i will be referring to my phone out here to get some more details on it and i know that this was uh, launched somewhere this month like in the month of july and it is priced at 16 dollars which i feel is okay and it has a range of 42 different shades and the UPS guy is here. So more PR stock coming in. Uh, let me tell you something more about the foundation. It is so I'm gonna I have got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shades, and I am gonna do my shade match right here. So uh, let me tell you firstly about the foundation. It says that it has hyaluronic acid. I have been raving about it like ever since I got this in my hands. I was like, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid. So yes, it has hyaluronic acid. Other than that, it has it has coconut water and it is oil free, it is vegan. Oh vegan uh, bougie shit so yeah why not and i look for all skin types so this is how it looks and i am aiming to be somewhere here i saw the shade it is atw so let's just open this bad boy up and let's see i do not have the primer what they are suggesting is you basically um they came up with this uh, primer which has similar packaging if you guys have seen the full size product i'm gonna show the picture somewhere here and um also they have uh, sent me their uh, sponge which i love the sponges are so cute and so amazing i'm just gonna try it on with this primer today i will be using the first Sally primer which you guys know i love because it blurs out my pores and evens out my skin oh and by the way i am not wearing any makeup it's just that i have done my brows and that's it so i'm filming this video like both ways i'm doing it for youtube as well as for instagram so hey by the way uh do follow me on instagram too i do a shit lot of stun there anything for the gram right the shade medium atw that is one that is calling my name and there is 83 see what do you guys think 83 c 83 cool so i am in the lama between oh no this is gonna be oh no this definitely has a pink undertone i don't think uh, oh no oh no 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 oh no i do not like pink undertones foundation i somehow feel it makes me look more darker so I am definitely medium ATW. That is my shade. And I'm just gonna damp this beauty blender and be right back. So now, do you see the difference? This is definitely not me. Let me just start blending it out and let's see how it goes. I am not sure if you guys have used their tinted moisturizer. I, of course, love it because I like that sure finish i don't like too much i don't like layering products so 
that is definitely my go to pay. And I am not quite sure if this is the shade. Uh, let me just blend out the cool tone foundation too, which was like the 83C. Let me see how does this look. Do you see this? Do you see the difference? Like cool tone foundation, I have always seen it leaves a cast on my face. Like I feel after a while, I feel like it looks chalky, it looks white, it looks different. Wow, I just love the way it is blending. I'm just going to take a little bit on my forehead and on my chin. It doesn't have any smell. The smell is also like I don't I don't see any smell. It's just like foundation smell. So yeah, that is like if there is a smell called foundation smell, this is it. And let me just blend the forehead part of it. Let me just cover the neck. Like after one layer of the foundation application. This is how my skin looks right now, it looks, looks and feel. So again, a little bit at the back of my hand and I am going for round two over here. So definitely I'm going to cover the problem areas that I have, which is like almost my entire face. So the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, take my uh, foundation stuffing brush and just like go in. And I will quickly go off camera and do uh, the full face and be right back. BRB. Alright guys, so this is the final look that I created. I used the James Charles palette and uh, a combo of James Charles palette and this NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner in the shade. If only I could pronounce this. Mirror now. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below so don't worry about it. I'm gonna do my hair and... Be right back. So yeah, this is it. This is about it. This is the uh, final makeup look. So hope you guys liked the video. If you liked it, do give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.